made it out of Phoenix up to La Posada Resort in Winslow, waiting to go into the turquoise room. It's a beautiful, tranquil scene and setting. Right off of Route 66. The hotel has its own garden and the turquoise room actually buys produce. Produce from the gardener here. They're separate entities and this is blue corn and you can tell that it's spring because the plants are just starting to come out of the ground. There's some pumpkin in the corner, some Hopi red amaranth, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to go in the dining room at 5 when it opens and have a lot more of these local and Indian Native American inspired dishes. In a few months, we'll be having some Cherokee purple heirloom tomatoes. Aztec runner beans are also being grown. This will be Dine squash, which is a, was a Native American staple. I sure hope they have more brothers and sisters for this Genovese basil coming out. It's gonna look pretty good. Great old world of charm inside the lobby. La Posada is one of the last great railroad hotels. So they had a Fred Harvey dining room, which is sort of the Howard Johnson's of the 1800s. So they had a railroad depot and then the hotel. So the hotel is literally right on the train tracks, which is the way that most people got here and the grounds are beautiful. The hotel was built in 1930. You see a lot of artisanal work. It's also a lot of great artwork, especially Native American artwork. All over the lobby, the hotel is about 65,000 square feet altogether. This is a entertainment room. Guests can come down and play games and congregate. And through these doors are the turquoise walls of the turquoise room, which is named after the dining car from the express that went from Chicago to Los Angeles during the 30s. There are also some interesting models of the railroad cars and the dining cars. Almost every seat has a view of the railroad. It's a grand old room with old bones that they do a good job of keeping restored and up to date. The chandeliers are hand painted tin and glass and they're in the Pueblo Deco style. They were customized for the room. Tin and glass chandeliers that were commissioned for the turquoise room. The fried squash blossoms, which aren't on the menu, but are looking pretty terrific, and they smell even better. And this is the peaky bread with the tepary bean hummus, which is a reservation-grown bean. So I'm excited to try that. It's hard to see, but the peaky bread is paper thin. So it must take a lot of work to bake those. Because it's so fragile, I've been advised to spread the dip, the peppery bean dip, which is like a hummus, onto the peaky bread instead. And it tastes very nice, it's very garlicky. We have a Navajo churro pasoli, Navajo churro medallion, lamb, an elk sausage, and then we have a tamale with green chili, also made with the Navajo churro. Cheap. Finally, the prickly pear bread pudding. 